Hello, everyone. I was uh, researching some stuff last night, and I came across a book that is it's pretty awesome and very informative um, about the Rosicrucians. And I just wanted to read this first uh, couple of paragraphs of the foreword here um, before I get into a in more in-depth study the next following few videos. I'm going to do a summary of this book right here, which is a kind of a summary of a summary, but um, there's a lot of information in here that I've never heard anyone else talk about that is really interesting, and I think a lot of people will also find it interesting. So let me go ahead and start off here. In, in, uh, in 1895, W.B. Yeats wrote, an essay titled The Body of the Father, Christian Rosencrew, which begins by describing how the founder of Rosicrucianism was laid in a noble tomb surrounded by inextinguishable lamps, where he lay for many generations until he was discovered by chance by students of the same magical order. Having said this, Yeats goes on to attack modern criticism for entombing the imagination, proclaiming that the ancients and the Elizabeth Elizabethans abandoned themselves to imagination as a woman abandons herself to love and created beings who made the people of this world seem but shadows. On the whole, Yeats use of the image of Christian Rosencruz seems irrelevant until the reader comes to the sentence, I cannot get out of my mind that this age of criticism is about to pass and an age of imagination, of emotion, of moods, of revelation about to come in its place. For certainly belief in a super sensual world is at hand. In this statement, Yeats shows his own deep understanding of the whole Rosicrucian phenomenon. That is what it was really about. That is the real explanation to reverberate down three and a half centuries. The hoax began as Christopher McIntosh describes it in these pages with the publication in 1614 of a pamphlet called Fama fraternit Fraternitatis of the Meritorious Order of the Rosy Cross, which purported to describe the life of the mystic magician Christian Rosencrew, who lived to be 106 and whose body was carefully concealed in a mysterious tomb for the next 120 years. The author of the present book translates Fama as declaration, but my own Latin dictionary defines it as common talk, a report, rumor, saying, tradition. So it would hardly be unfair to translate fama as myth or legend. So basically, all the events, this mysterious pamphlet, which can be found printed in full as an apex to the Rosicrucian Enlightenment by Francis Yates, goes on to invite all interested parties to join the Brotherhood and tells them that they have only to make their interests known, either by word of mouth or in writing, and the Brotherhood will hear about it and probably make contact. This in itself is a suggestion that the Brotherhood has magical powers, perhaps some crystal ball that will enable them to tune in to anyone who is genuinely interested. Which is weird, because this morning... On my way uh, to run some errands at like 7 o'clock, the early show of Jimbo and Casio in the mornings, um, were literally talking about Freemasons and Freemasons in Huntsville and what it took to be a Freemason or how you were would go about becoming a Freemason, that you have to find a lodge, find a Freemason, tell them you want to be one make it known or show up at a meeting and make it known that you want to be a Freemason. And um, you have to seek that knowledge out on your own. You can't 
be solicited. You have to go looking for them, and um, and that and that's how that works. But I just heard they. I mean, on the radio they were talking about like telling people how you do it, how you become a Freemason. Like it was so oh, uh, tongue in cheek. Oh, do we need to be a Mason? Is that something you want to do? Be a Mason? Well, here's how you be a Mason if you wanted to be. Go down there to the lodge in Twickingham and tell them you want to be a Freemason. And here's the rules. Um, and they went through them on the air. Uh, you got to have a. Um, you got to believe in a higher power. That's a rule. You have to have that. And other than that, don't talk about politics or any of that other shit. And and you're good. Well, that's up to a certain point. Because if you want to get into the real knowledge, you have to go past the 33rd degree. degree and they, that's what the whole thing, you know, the search for knowledge. Um, knowledge of the Luciferian order B system that is running this fucking rat trap. Anyway, for another time, another place. I hope y'all are interested in this because I am and uh, I'm going to make some videos about it.